In other news, we are expecting to learn new details today about a weekend triple shooting in Providence. Only our cameras were there early Saturday when police were combing for clues at the El Tiburon Sports Bar on Valley Street. Bar was ordered to be shut down after an emergency meeting before the city's board of licenses. I would assume reporter Brian Yukono has more on that story now live from the mobile newsroom. Danielle, good morning. The Board of Licenses meeting again today here at City Hall. It's a regularly scheduled meeting, but they will also discuss whether to keep El Tibidor on closed. And keep in mind, this is now the second straight weekend that the board had to close a Providence business because of violence. The Van Gogh Lounge still closed now after a double shooting there just a few weeks ago. And as you saw, only Eyewitness News was on the scene at El Tibidor on, on Saturday morning, a very, uh, very early in the day that morning. And according to the incident report, a man was found inside with gunshot wounds. He was taken to the hospital. Two women were also shot, both of them with injuries to their legs. Eyewitness News was then back on that scene Saturday night. We were told the owner was unavailable. Shortly after, however, all the metal shutters on the business were closed. In an emergency Board of Licenses meeting Saturday, El Tiburon was shut down pending further review. Again, a meeting scheduled for this afternoon at City Hall. Back in 2007, however, El Tiburon was also the scene of a homicide. That, of course, shut down the business temporarily pending the Board of License review at that time. With the Mobile Newsroom, Brian Kono, Eyewitness News.